on automate to accelerate progress using TCAT. Uh, before I get started, I just want to be sure, is my audio clear? Thank you, Deepa. We'll get started. So let me share the screen. Okay, this is my screen. You're able to see. What you see is an output of a day book, which I got from Tally. Now I'm going to go to my presentation. This webinar will cover three key aspects. One is uh, how we can automate, especially the export of data from Tally to Excel. Second, how we can use this data for the purpose of analysis. And third, what are the powerful features of TCAT which could be useful both from a CIO perspective and also from an audit perspective? Let me get started. Yeah, I'm still learning Zoom, so there could be some a few hiccups in between. You have to excuse me that. Let's get started. Yes, sir. let's see. Right, we are ready to go. So what is the focus of the webinar? The focus of this webinar, how you can automate to accelerate progress. Most of us use Tally and we should know how to extract the maximum from Tally. The objective of this presentation is to show you how you can enhance the power of Tally using the simplicity of Tally and the power of Excel. This is my brief. I passed my CA in 1985 and CSA in 1995, and I have passion, passion for information technology. I've been mostly uh, spending my most of my time in developing data analytics solutions uh, for primary CS in the last uh, two decades. Uh, this is a vision of the company we formed. We formed this company in 1994. It was dormant for quite some time. After that, now we have been working more on how we can provide data analytics solu solutions for primarily CS. Uh, this is our strategy, our focus on how we can empower CES with innovative software solutions to harness the power of technology. This is our approach. How can CES deploy systems and solutions for scaling up services for empowering your staff and your clients? Now, our solutions are made for the new age digital auditor. This is a new term I coined. So we know that uh, in the current era. We can't survive without information technology. Most of clients are automated. And this COVID has shown us that the more automated you are, the more reliable you can be in delivering your services. And now you see the companies who are actually declaring profits are the company who, which are resilient and which are able to harness the power of technology. Now, primary, my primary focus, this primary I'm using quite a lot of times, uh, my fundamental focus is to ensure that you are able to use technology solutions for much more productive and much more value addition. And that's what that's the only way we can future proof our career. We know that Tally is the most popular and widely used accounting software, but there is an issue. What is the issue? The issue is when we want to export data or the masters from Tally, we need to dynamically interface with Tally and get the required data. And sometimes you don't get the data in the required format. So the challenge is how to get data from Tally. This data could be pertaining to the information of the master's data and the reports so that we can get into our Excel. All of us know we are well proficient in Excel and Excel is definitely an excellent tool. Now we would like to enhance 
the power of the data which is available in tally by exporting it into excel so that we can do further an analysis and reporting we know that tally has a lot of reports but there we could do much more by using excel now getting data from tally to excel for further analysis is quite a big challenge in fact that is one of the challenge i faced because initially when i started i developed a data analytics solution called softcat and ecat and i got the client data which was exported from tally to excel and when i wanted to apply the data analytics i found most of our functions were not working because the data could not be properly formatted the date was not getting recognized as date the numeric value was not getting recognized as numeric value there are alpha numeric values so we found most of the functions were not working that has given insight that there is a formidable problem and we can solve this problem and that's where we came with the solution of tcat so the data exported to ms excel from tally is quite consuming you find tally actually exports in rows whenever you export the day book or trial balance you find it actually copies the data creates the data row by row and even after further formatting we find it's a difficult to do further analysis and these are the basic problems we would like to solve in addition to that we also added new features so the solution tcat is actually tally to excel which means from tally i should be able to export the data to ms excel so we should be able to dynamically interface with tally to get the masters transactions and the reports from tally to ms excel in a structured format so what are the salient features of tcat it supplements the simplicity of tally with the power of data analytics of ms excel it can be used by audit and accounting professionals cxos and compliance managers you can select specific menu of function to import the relevant info into ms excel and you can extract specific or all the info in a structured format for further analysis i'm going to show you a quick demo of the various powerful features with some specific use cases now let's get a simple idea how this function can be used or how the functions in tcat can be used now this is a systematic approach first step is very simple open tally and select the company and set the period for which the data is required second identify the specific masters of the transaction data or the report you want to import from tally so that you get a perspective of what the data you want look at the raw data or the data available in tally first then you get into tcat open ms excel tcat will tcat will be available as an add in tab use the specific function of tcat i'll show you the specific functions which are available to get the required data from tally into ms excel there are two ways you can get the data from tally to excel in fact you can categorize the data into two buckets one is the masters second is the transactions there is one more category which is the reports i'll come to it a little later so as far as the masters are concerned most of the data pertaining to the masters you can export from tally using the query features because tally has opened the sql for this odbc connectivity using that we can export all the masters the problem is in tally itself there is a sql feature but it's not very user friendly you have to do further formatting of the data now we have got into hundreds and hundreds of tags which are available in the multiple tables and then we have ensured that the data is available to you in the excel in the way you want next you once you imported the data you need to review the data in ms excel to confirm that the data is available to you in the way you wanted because sometimes while exporting the data some of the format of the data may be lost and some of the data may be lost this happens rarely but it's always better to cross check whether the data you got in excel is correct and complete so broadly these steps are very simple you open tally set the period select the company and set the period you identify what the data you're looking for for example you're looking for inventory masters or you're looking for uh, ledgers of expenses you be clear about what is that you're looking for then you can open tcat and then in tcat there are specific functions through which you can extract the information now let's go further now let's look at the use cases before the use cases i just want to give you a quick perspective of what tcat is all about and how does it work now if you go to a website now i understand there are three types of use, uh, viewers today here one people who are already using tcat and they want to know more about how you can use second there are people who are exploring what is tcat all about how can we use it 
Third, people who don't know much about TCAT and they want to know how TCAT could be used. Now, if you go to the TCAT website, you will have an information about the product. Okay, this gives you information. This is the introduction. TCAT is an add-in to MS Excel, export from Tally to MS Excel, which is simplified. It dynamically interfaces with Tally to get the required data of the master and transactions from Tally into MS Excel in a structured format for further analysis and reporting. This is the bottom line. Now let's look into the more detail. This gives you the salient features, how to use TCAT. And we also got webinar recordings and videos. This is the last recording I did on 1st October. We also got demo videos of various functions. Now, what I want to show you is something else other than this. This is the intro. Now, if you want to know more about TCAT, now this is where you got the info. You go to the intro. This gives you information about the brief overview of what TCAT is all about. I want to spend less time on theory and more time in practice. That's why I want to do a quick overview. This talks about what TCAT is all about, which I already covered. What is TCAT adding to Excel, our solution? Most of the details here are actually extracted from the presentation. Now, these are the panels which are available in TCAT. You've got all this information that you want is actually organized into different panels. I'll show you the software also. You have the configure panel, documents panel, profile, accounting, inventory, cost center, payroll, compliances, reports, analyze, and tools. As the name of the panel explains, it clearly gives you a perspective of what is available in that particular panel. Let's go further. Now, once you've gone to the panel, now let's go into why use TCAT. This gives you some reason about why you need to use TCAT. It's a one-stop solution. You can do more in less time. This is a fundamental purpose. Now let's go further. How to use, I've already explained to you. The systematic approach which you talked about. Then let's look at the key features. This is what I wanted to highlight. This gives you the key features of what TCAT is all about. Okay, I have given 12 key features. As I said, the TCAT actually gets data from tally from two points of view one is through xql second is through xml in xml tally can exchange data in xml format so we send a soap request and from the soap request we get the xml data we read the data tags which are there there could be hundreds of tags for one transactions we pick up the specific tags which are relevant and that display the data to you in excel uh, this is the most important thing which i want to show you this functions menu gives you a list of all the functions which are available. And if you see here, the panels and the menus, configure, documents, profile, accounting, like that, we got the different panels. Under each of the panels, we also have the list of functions. This document, which is also available to our customers in a PDF file, once they become customers, it gives you the complete list of all the functions with the panel and the menus and explains to you in brief, what does the function do? For example, let's say if you say accounting, it extracts the day book, cash book, bank book, bank group summary, ledger, etc. If you look at day book transactions, it displays the day book transactions for all our specific ledgers as per the condition or month wise. Similarly, if you look at day book ledger vouchers, it displays the voucher transactions for all our specific ledgers as per the condition or month wise. It enables extract from tally to MS Excel all the transaction details for specific period with the grand total corresponding ledgers, etc. You also can get transaction based on the bill wise, cash wise, etc. Now there are a list of about, let's see how many total functions we have. We keep on adding the functions. This gives you the complete list of functions with the panel menus, et cetera. I think there are nearly about hundred functions totally. If you remove the panels, et cetera. Yeah, about less than hundred functions. We also some audit functions. Now this is all about what the TCAT functions and features are all about. We also have use cases. This have not yet added. We also have got FAQs. Now let me close this website. Now let's come back to our presentation and then I'll quickly go to the demo. Uh, this now you see what I want to take you through is the use cases with practical usage. Now let's look at the need. A CF firm providing assurance services wishes to implement standard audit program with detailed procedures for the client who are using Tally. This is the requirement. So what are the process we follow? The CF firm uses TCAT to export all the transactions Let me just see, okay. Just give me a minute, yes, now we got it, yes. 
Uh, let me keep this right in the here for the time being. Yeah. The CA firm uses TCAT to export all the masters with configuration and perform profiling at the manager level to identify exceptions and specific areas for review. The audit manager with the audit staff reviews all the masters and the configuration settings for all the modules exported from Tally to profile the data and to guide the audit team on specific or detailed audit procedures to be performed. Okay, this is the process which is followed. I'll give you a practical usage how it is done. And the benefits of this is you find that you can save a lot of time. They also implement a standard process, ensuring better performance and focus on the risk areas. And there are standard documentation of the audit process, which can be followed by other team members also. And it ensures better quality of deliverables to the client and the value addition by pointing out exceptions and areas of improvement. Now, let me come to the demo. Let's go to the software and then we'll quickly get started. Now, before that, I just want to show you, if you see this Excel sheet, now this is the day book which I extracted for one day from Tally. This is a detailed day book. Now, if you see here, the data is formatted in a particular way. Now, you find if I have this data in this way, I have to do a lot of circuits to get the data in a structured format so that I can do analysis. For example, let's say I want to do a filter on this, or I want to run a pivot table on this, or I want to do various types of other functions in Excel. It becomes very difficult to do any analysis on this particular data. Okay, this is where TCAT could be useful. I'll show you how the same day book is exported from TCAT and what is the manner in which you can get. Plus, I'll also show you how this information is presented. First, I'll show you the reports which are already extracted. Then I'll show you a demo how this comes. Now, for example, this is the data which you extracted for a particular company. Now, you see, this is the data which is exported using TCAT from Tally. Okay, now if you see here, the data is all structured. The first column has got the headers. You've got the date, you've got the ledger name, voucher type, voucher number, debit credit. You have the transaction type, party ledger name, payment. Now, once you've got the data in this particular format, you find it becomes very easy. You can do a filter. You can, you want to pick up all the transactions pertaining to, let's say, payment. Let's say I go to payment. I can pick up all the transactions pertaining to payment. Okay, now here I want to pick up all the transactions, let's say debit greater than 20,000. I can apply the number filter and say I want payments about 20,000. So I can extract this information. So it means it becomes very easy for me to extract information using the powerful functions of Excel. Let's say I want to see all the contract transactions. I just go here and say contra. I'll be able to pick up all the transactions pertaining to contra which have happened during the year. And I also see what has happened as far as the transaction is concerned, whether it's a cash to bank. So with the, which means I know exactly how many cash transactions happened, which means withdrawal from bank or deposit to bank. So once you get the data in a structured format, it becomes very easy to analyze. Not only that, for example, in narration, I want to search for, let's say I'm doing a tax audit. I want to search whether club fees has been paid from the account. I can find out that. So I can do a lot of analysis once I got the data in a structured format. I'll show you how this data is exported. The daybook is exported. Another interesting feature is available. Now let me show you TCAT. This is a, TCAT is an add-in software tab, which means now if you've got, these are all the software we have got. e to tally soft ECAT Enterprise, TCAT, Auto TCAT, Auto ECAT, ECAT Pro, and GST CAT. GST CAT still is in the final stage of testing. So if you look at TCAT, when you click on TCAT, once it's installed, these are all the functions which are available in TCAT. So what are the functions here? If you see here, under the configure panel, we can open tally, we can enter the company info. How is this company info useful? This will be useful for recording inside Excel, which is the company to which this data belongs. So you can also use it for, while printing, you can also add the company's name in this. There are some functions which takes a longer time. In that case, you can also work in background. So in that case, what will happen? You can run the function. The function will be run in the background and you can continue to work in Excel. You also have log info, which means all the info you've done, let's say the file info for this particular file, what are the details? You can get this information. You can also get the information about the Excel log. What, is the, what are the work you did in this Excel file? You'll get all this information. What are the file path? What did you do in Excel as per the workbook history is concerned? Next, you also have activities log, which means what are the activities which are performed in this Excel? So this is what I said is the beauty of the software that actually does a self-documentation. What a work has been done, the staff has done this work. You can also see what the company has done 
and when it was performed so they can actually show the details and show you that this is what the work which has been done and you can also view this data and document it so it means what are audit program you've developed the staff perform the procedures you verify whether this have been this process has been performed look at the exception and you also maintain the documentation you also have some test data and checklists now if you have run a function and you want to rerun you can rerun the function refresh actually runs the last function index creates an index sheet for this particular sheet let's say if i say index what it does is it adds one sheet with the name of the file with also the linkage so once you got an excel workbook with multiple sheet once you create an index at one glance you'll be able to know what are the number of rows number of columns and number of cells in each of the worksheets now these are the generic function now let's come to specific functions which are there in tcat before that i want to show you a few more things now you have got something called the ledger vouchers now if you see here i told you there are two types of data which is available which you can extract from tally to excel one is the master data this is what is used for profiling and we have the general info when you click on the general info now this will review identify look at what are the companies which are open now based on that it can give you this six bits of information what are the company info what are the company features security features system info license info and strategy info i'll perform this function a little later similarly you have the master info this is what i said all this we are getting through queries probably there are about 50 to 60 queries we are running to get various types of information so here you have for example the list of ledgers ledger groups which are available in tally voucher types which are available the group configuration expense ledgers itself you can extract separately you also have gst related ledgers in the inventory you got go downs inventory balance like that you got multiple types of reports all these are master reports looking at this reports you can formulate an idea about what are the uh, key aspects you need to verify and also you can also identify if there are any exceptions you want to look into based on this you can uh, guide the staff on what are the specific things the staff has to look into in detail you also have cost center information compliances and payroll information now this is about the master data you also can query the master data by asking specific questions for example you want to pick up accounts where the opening balance is equal to zero and the closing balance is equal to zero or you want to pick up transactions where the opening balance or the closing balance is equal to zero or opening balance is equal to closing balance where the opening balance is greater than the zero like that you got multiple queries which are available in advance running this you can get basic information about what could be the exceptions in this particular master data now this about the master data the profiling gives you all the master data <clears throat> not only that inside each of this for example let's say here we got accounting this accounting will give you all the information <coughs> about the accounting transactions for example let's say transactions when i say here it gives me displays the debit transactions for all the specific ledgers as per the conditions or month wise you can get bill wise transactions which means it extracts all the transactions with only bill wise which have got bill wise details you can extract the ledger vouchers this is what i want to show you ledger vouchers is i found most of ces hardly use it but this is a very interesting feature which is there inside tally what it does is for each of the rows it gives you the ledger name and the corresponding ledger name for example in this case you see 142019 asset insurance is the one which is debited and the corresponding the amount which has been debited is this prepaid expenses so similarly, you got AMC expenses and the corresponding credit or debit is for prepaid expense. So at one glance, you'll be able to know for each of the entries, what are the debit and the credit. So this is what is available in the ledger vouchers. We extract the ledger vouchers also and give it to you in one glance so that you can do a detailed analysis. I'm told many of the uh, well-known auditors use ledger features extensively for doing a detailed profiling and finding out the exceptions. For example, let's say I have the ledger name. I want to look at, let's say, pertaining to conveyance, what are the mode, what are the corresponding this one, transactions which are there for particular conveyance? I just go to let's say conveyance. So I've got two types of conveyance here. Now I want to see now here itself, it gives me a clear idea. What are the type of conveyance which has been paid? Now immediately you see here at one glance, I will know there is a big amount of 125,000 rupees which has been paid in cash. So I immediately flag it and see that this has to be verified. Similarly, you find conveyance has been debited by accounting it for salaries payable. So based on this, I get an idea and see, okay, now if you look at each of the months, now this is done through payroll, but there's one exceptional transactions, which is through a journal entry. So it means by just do a quick review, I'll be able to find out what are the exceptions. 
audit they say is all about finding the exceptions and the exceptional exceptions so by having a quick look at this i can find out all the exceptions let's say i'm looking at the rent i want to see what is the pattern in rent i just go to rent now there are various types of rent i'll just pick up the rent account here now rent if you see here these are the times in which the rent has been paid just look at this data this for the year 1920 so i know that rent has been paid 12 times okay and i know what are the date on which it has been paid most of the cases you find the rent has been passed through a payable entry through a journal entry so if there are any exceptions if i want to find whether or not passed entry for any month i can immediately find out this particular exceptions so i can do a detailed expenditure analysis by looking at this suppose i go to tds i want to know when the, when the tds has been deducted when it has been paid i can find out this so through the ledger uh, this one vouchers i can actually see the corresponding ledger name and i know how this particular transactions happened so this is a very useful tool now the only problem is when i get the data entirely i don't get it in a structured manner but when I get it in Excel through PCAT, I get the data in a structured manner. It becomes very easy for us to do the analysis. So you can do a detailed ledger scrutiny because you are able to get all the transactions of all the ledgers in one page or in one Excel sheet. And that is the power of TCAT because it gives you the information, all the information for the year in one particular transactions, in one particular page, so that you can do a detailed analysis. Now I want to show you one more report there's one more detailed voucher in this case this is a new feature which i came to know from one of, one of a friend from Pune. he said that ledger tally has got an option where i whereby i can extract not only the ledger column i can also know which is the corresponding ledger and i can put the corresponding ledger in the column okay now if you see in this case i can actually do for each of the expenses i know amc charges for amc charges i know on what date it was paid and what are the corresponding ledger for this now so this is another beautiful way of analyzing the data i'm not sure how many of you have used this this we, we did not have this feature and based on request from uh, one of our customers we added this so here we find amc charges and we also know what is the corresponding ledgers if the amc have charges have been paid multiple times i'll be able to get all this information at one shot now this gives a gold mine of information for doing a detailed analysis for each of this, for each of the expense. This one, I know at one glance, what are the ledger and what are the corresponding transactions? For example, let's say I want to know, okay, in this company, I'm also a director. That's why it is coming. Now here, let's say I want to pick up all the transactions pertaining to one particular company. So I know this particular transaction happened only once. And I know this is the date on which the transactions happened. So I can do column wise ledger analysis. The only issue is, I should ensure that this number of columns should not be too many. Suppose I do it for, let's say, debtors, and the debtors make payment in cash or check or through journal entry, then probably if I put journal wise, then I will be able to get the details. Suppose I do this for expenditure analysis, I'll be able to know, okay, what are the types of expenditure? At one glance, I'll be able to know not only for a single ledger, but multi multiple ledgers, what are the modes in which the payment has been made, when it has been paid. So looking at one glance, I'll be able to get a, do a complete analysis. Now, I want to show you one more report. This is the trial balance. Now, if you look at the trial balance, let me show you the trial balance which I exported from Tally. There are multiple ways you can get the trial balance from Tally. One is the detail, which is the ledger wise, where you get only ledgers and the debit and credit balance. Other is where you can get group wise, which means you can include the group also. The issue is, as I said earlier, the data is not properly formatted, so it becomes very difficult to format. In fact, in one, uh, I always quote this, in one particular Excel expert, Excel seminar, and the Excel expert was talking about how you can use the power of Excel to format the data of Tally. He spent nearly 30 minutes to format the data from Tally trial balance to convert in a way so that you can prepare schedule three. Now that we can do in 30 seconds using our TCAT. Okay, sometimes Excel takes longer time. Let's close this. We'll come back to this a little later. Let me see if I can open through some other way. Okay, let me come back to this a little later. Let's go further. Now, this is the trial balance I want to show you. Now, if you see, at one glance, I want to show you. I'll show you how this is extracted. I got the all the ledgers. 
Uh, this is what I call as formatting. If you got the data in this format, it becomes very easy to prepare a, uh, some pivot table and also prepare the schedules, the linking, everything. I got the parent, I got the primary group, I got the opening debit, opening credit, transaction debit, transaction credit, and the closing debit and closing credit. So to come to the stage from the tally trial balance, that gentleman took more than 30 minutes by formatting and using various types of formulas, some if, count if, and so many other conditions. Whereas you can get this in one simple view. Now here itself, using the trial balance itself, let's say we want to do analysis. So I want to pick up all the, let's say, all the direct expenses. So I said you can do analysis based on the detailed transactions, or you can also do based on the summary. Let's say I want to do all the expenditure. I pick up the direct and indirect expenses. Now I have the complete list of all the expenses which happened. And for each head of account, I know what the expenditure which has been incurred. Based on that, I can make a comparative analysis. Let's say I've got the last year's data or based on this, I can find out the exception. For example, rent, we know they're paying 75,000 rupees per month. Has, in, has it been paid for 12 months? Now I find 20,000 rupees as personal charges. This seems to be an exception. I can check whether they have deducted TDS on this. So I can look at each of this. Now traveling expenses, we know, there's 143,300. We already found there's 125,000 rupees, which has been paid in cash. That's an exceptional transactions. We can investigate and find out what are the transactions. Okay, now if you say ex gratia, this has been paid to some staff. Okay, whether well, TDS has been deducted, how it has been treated, we can look at it. So I can do a detailed analysis based on this. I can add a column for that audit procedure here, and I can tell the staff this is what I want you to verify. Okay, similarly, let's say we also have got format through which you can get. We've got the sales register column now. In tally, there is an option to get this. Same data we provide in a structured fashion here. So based on different types of sales, you can do the analysis along with the GSTN and with the narration, you can get this particular data. This is a columnar format, which is available. This same format we provide to you in PCAT. Now with this, now let me go and give you a quick demo of how we can do this transactions. If you've got any questions, you can post in the Q&A. I'll take it up a little later. Now I said the presentation is going to be uh, 45 minutes, but it looks like I may go up to uh, another 10 minutes extra. I hope that is okay with you. Now let me go to tally. I've uh, got two companies data. I got one company, which is Iris, let's say Iris Technologies. Okay, let me look at this. This is where I just want to extract the masters and the transaction, show you how you can do. So it's got about, it's a small company, about 142 transactions. And this gives you the summary of the groups in the ledgers. And now we've got one more company, which is, I called it as webinar demo, uh, where we have got uh, 677 transactions. This is only transactions for a month. Okay, now let me come back. I would like to go to the first D. Iris ID technologies. Okay, now let me come to Excel. I'm going to open a blank sheet of Excel. This is a blank workbook of Excel. And I'm going to show you how TCAT has been designed from the perspective of simplicity of use. Most of the functions will not take more than 30 seconds for you to learn. Some of this may take about a minute or so. Let's get started. I click on TCAT. Now I want the general info. What do I need to do? I click on general info. Let's look at what are the type of information I can get. I say select all. This becomes a part of your documentation. Any audit to do, you ensure that this data, master data is collected and analyzed by the audit manager or the senior, based on which you ensure that you give guidance to the audit staff. How much time did it take? A few seconds. Now I've got a gold mine of information. Sitting here, I know how tally has been configured. What are the features of tally they're using? whether password policy is enabled, password has been reset. The, what is the uh, complete aspect pertaining to password policy is enabled. Also whether GST enabled or GST classification enabled. So this is all based on no, because we wanted to show the exceptions at one shot. I think this is all is available here. Yeah, now let's come to system info. This gives, what is uh, this becomes a documentation of what is the system on which you did the audit. It could be your own system or the client system on what day this was taken. Similarly, you got the structured info. So it tells you when the company started, what is the applicable date. It also gives you a lot of information. This is the data which is there in the company configuration or the company master. All the details we get at one shot. Next, we have the license info. This part into the tally license. Now we come to the company features. This is what I'm telling you. This tells you company. Earlier, I showed you the password features. Now here, we are looking at the company features which are enabled. Now here, if I go to yes. Now, these are the features which have been enabled in Tally. Now, whether bill-wise has been enabled in Tally, 
is accounting enabled is accounting enabled with inventory is it integrated is invoicing enabled like that i'll be able to get a complete configuration based on this configuration i can decide how detailed is going to be my audit program if they're not enabled bill wise then i know that a lot of bill wise reports i cannot generate if cost center is not enabled then i know i cannot get any cost center based reports so at one glance i'll be able to get an idea what is enabled what is not enabled and what is the information i need to look at let's go further now if you see here you got the company info now let me go to the next one i'll open one more sheet i got one more blank sheet i just come to click tcat now i am going to now i looked at the general info now i'm getting to the master info which means all the masters let's say i'm going to pick up only accounting for the timing i'm just picking one example which is accounting and see there are six details i have to just say okay now all this if i do through sql or the query transfer probably it will take about 5 to 10 minutes to extract the data from tally now here in a few seconds the data is available to you now here you see that's the expense ledger this gives you the complete list of all the expenses which have been incurred during the year and here also you can see are the expenses having any opening balances at one glance you know that all the expense opening balance is not there then it tells you last year there is a closing balance so i know what are the expenses which are incurred last year and what are the expenses of this year for each of the expenses i can do the analysis and know which is the category to which this expense belongs and then based on that i can add a column and say this audit procedure which is to be performed i also have the group configuration for each of this account what the group configuration is set for example is cost center enabled for which are the ledgers for which it is enabled is bill wise enabled which are the ledgers for which is enabled if i have not enabled bill wise for let's say sunday tasks then the bill wise details i will not be able to get is sub ledger enabled is it belonging to revenue these are all the master configuration which is set inside tally and able to extract all this information in one click similarly i have got what are the various types of vouchers which have been created and also not only that if you see here i can get what is the numbering method which has been adopted now if they have set it to automatic i know automatic has its own advantages disadvantages manual has its own advantages disadvantages when it set to automatic in case of tally what are what are number is given it ignores that and automatically gives the next sequential number if it is a manual which means what are number is given manually that will be taken okay so this you can get an idea not only that you can also know what is the last number whether that particular this on voucher type does it affect stock is it pertaining to manufacturing journal is it a tax invoice at one glance i'll be able to do the analysis and get to know what are the total vouchers etc similarly if i come to the ledger groups this gives me this list of all the groups and also gives me the summary information now i also have the list of all the ledgers this is the most important thing this is like your trial balance it gives me all the list of ledgers along with the parent and the primary group and it gives me what is the opening balance closing balance on account balance this year balance quarter balance like that you got multiple information not only that if you got various user ids you can also know who has altered it when it was altered that particular ledger when it was created now similarly you got the gst related ledgers now this you can use it for doing a gst audit or for checking whether all the ledgers have been properly configured for gst because if you are not added it's a gst related ledger you find that you will not be able to do the corresponding debit or credit for the gst whether the gst ledgers have been properly set up you can verify at one glance here not only that you can know which are the for example you want to know which are the gst ledgers which belong to sunday data then you can know which are the data, gst data which belong to sunday data similarly where do they belong everything you can get at one glance now this is about the master info here i also said you can also do the querying for specific master info okay this is about the master info now let's go to the transactions what i'll do is i'll open one more sheet so that we can get a fresh perspective now let me close the other so that we don't have too much of sheets open i don't want to save this okay let me go a little faster now this also i'll close ah this is the fresh sheet i wanted there's one more sheet which i want to close yes let me close this ah now we are going to the heart of the matter now i am coming to the day book transactions now how do i do so it's very simple that's why i say if you want to learn tcat probably you can learn all the features in less than 2 hours now i got tcat now i want to look at transactions now what are the transactions i want to know transaction about day book i said transactions 
So I have, by default, it picks up the period. In this case, it's 1420 to 29 and 920, which is this is the current period. Okay. And then I got narrations, etc. All the details. I say okay. Let's say I'm doing internal audit for this particular company, extract all the debug transactions. Now you see in a few seconds, I've got all the transactions. Now the time it takes could vary depending on the transactions. There are only 412 transactions. This is a small company. So I've got the data data in a structured manner, structured fashion, so that I can do data analysis. Same data I'm going to do again. Let's say I've got this debug transactions. Now I want to extract transactions for a particular ledger or a group of ledgers. So in this case, let's say I select parent and then I say I want all expenses pertaining to direct expenses. I say okay. This is one of the important features when used. I want to get all the expenses in one page. Now I can also get the separate worksheet for each of the ledgers. Now I want to get details of all the expenses one page. I just say okay. Now it will extract all the transactions of this file ledgers here and it gives you in one shot in one page. Uh, this is the beauty of the software. Now, in fact, in some cases, I think TDS, which has been account multiple expenses, one of a friend is in Hyderabad, he's actually groups them together, gets this, and he's able to do a comparative analysis with the form AS-16. Is it form AS-16 or 26? AS-26 he's able to do, otherwise he said it would have been a difficult job to combine all this. Now I can do a complete review of all the transactions as one shot. So I showed you transactions, which means transactions can be extracted for the complete period, or you can also extract transactions for specific type of vouchers. For example, contra journal, you want to see only journal entry, you want to transact, you can pick up all the journal entries that have been passed. Okay. As I said, you can extract one or, for example, I want to pick up all the transactions which are putting, which are containing GST. If SA contains and say show, now it will show me all the transactions which have got GST. So it means I can extract all the transactions which are related to GST. I can also do month wise, which means all the transactions, especially tally becomes a little slow when the volume of the data is high, then I can extract it month wise and it also gives me an option to append these ledgers and consolidate them together in one place. This as far as the daybook is concerned. Similarly, if I go to daybook, I have got the bill wise transactions I told you, you can get bill wise only. This is the ledger vouchers which I told you. Now here, what do I do? Simple. I have to just go there and say by default the period is taken. I can also get separate worksheet for each ledger. I say okay. Now this gives me, like I said, ledger vouchers with the corresponding column. So this is how I can extract the master data and the transaction data in one glance and I'll be able to do analysis. Now for example, each of the transactions, I got the ledger name with the corresponding ledger name and this becomes very easy for me to do the analysis. So in most of the cases, the master data which you extracted will be will have to be ideally reviewed by the <coughs> the extract can the extraction can be done by the staff and they can write their points and it can be reviewed with the audit manager and based on that you can decide what are the specific areas you want to focus on this is what we wanted to cover in case study number one so once you have done this what can happen is for each of the clients you can also decide what are the standard audit procedure going to perform so i showed you already the masters uh, the query of the uh, masters and the trial balance is extracted. Now let's go to K, uh, this one, case number two. CFM needs, uh, wants to improve the quality of their assurance services by implementing standard process for review of compliance of confirmances for the clients who are using Tally. So this is the process you follow. Like I said, you export all the transactions, all the selected transactions. Let's say you're doing a GST audit. In that case, you export all the ledgers pertaining to GST, which include the sales, purchases, IGST, SGST, CGST, and then do analysis. Because the data is available to in a very simple fashion, you can do the analysis in a much more simpler way. It saves you a lot of time. Now let me see. Export of transactions or daybook or ledger transactions. I've already shown you how this can be done. I'll also show you some reports which have been already extracted. Now in this case, this is another interesting option which I want to show you. CFIM primarily providing strategy audit and consulting services pertaining to compliance wants to use the inbuilt security and control features of Tally to quickly identify exceptions and to perform assignments in quicker time with better quality. Most of you may be aware that audit tally itself has got what is called as a audit in compliance. Using audit in compliance, there are various types of reports I can extract, especially in the audit and analysis. So if you look at audit and analysis, I've got verification of chart accounts, verification of balances. In verification of balance, it gives me a list of all the balances. I've got analytical procedures where I can do analysis between two groups of accounts. 
I also got, let's say, verification of chart of accounts. Now it tells me accounts which are squared off during the year, accounts which are not used during the year, not used in the current year. Like that, I can get a only ledgers where only balances, there are no transactions used only in the current year. So if you want details, I can just go here and so click on this. It gives me this information. Now I can use this feature, which is provided by Tally, or I can come to PCAT. I'll show you how this can be done. Let me close this. All this analysis, now with the security and control features which you, which you got here, let's say I've got TCAT, I click on TCAT. Okay, now so far I've shown you what you can do through the daybook, trial balance, query masters. Similarly, you can also extract transactions pertaining to inventory. Okay, in this case, these are the masters, these are the transactions. So whenever you have got inventory, you can get only the transactions which are related to inventory in this. Similarly, if you got cost center, only transactions pertaining to cost center you can get here. Similarly, payroll and you got the reports. The reports are nothing much great about this one, especially in the transaction is less is much better to directly take it from tally. Most of the reports you can directly take from tally. Okay, now the beauty is in the registers. Now I want, let's say the sales register. I can get the sales register in voucher, extract or columnar. Similarly, purchase register, journal vouchers, like that you can extract. Okay, now let me come to this audit features which I was talking about. Now here you got something called a ledger scrutiny. See, in ledger scrutiny, all the audit features which are there, we have added it here in one click. I just go here, click, and all the tally was providing, we have provided in one click. So you can extract, document, analyze, and decide what are the specific features you want to focus for the purpose of audit. Now, could you have got the same details from tally? Yes, it, what is the time you would have taken? You would have taken much more time. Here, you got accounts paid out during the year. Okay, here you got accounts which are with no transactions. You got a list of all the accounts at a macro level so that you can analyze. You also got the list of payables, there are no records found. You got accounts which have not been used during the year. Okay, you also got accounts which are only current year, which means these are accounts which are used only in the current year. You also got re uh, receivables. You also got periodic payments. It has not been set, that's why you not got any details here. Similarly, you got interbank transactions. Now let me go to another powerful feature in the same audit. This is called the analyze menu. Here we are able to get the exceptions. So exceptions also, you see all the functions we are given, just select, okay, single click and say, okay, all these 10 plus reports, you'll be able to get in a few seconds. So this becomes a part of your audit documentation and you can analyze and decide what are the specific areas you're going to look at. So you see how powerful and focused your audit becomes just by looking at the relevant information. Rather than doing ad hoc analysis, you find that you can actually do specific analysis depending on your requirement. Not only that, it also adds an index file. So you can navigate. If you see here, I've added an index file. So you can go to specific, for example, you want to look at transactions which have happened on a holiday. You click on this. This tells me these are the transactions which happened on a holiday. So if there are any exceptional transactions, you can actually check and see why these transactions happened. So it looks like they paid director. I am a director in the company. They also paid remuneration to be on a Sunday. Okay, you also get, huh, this is another interesting thing. Fixer set analysis, you get at one shot. In tally, you have to get this information, you'll get information individually. Here it gives you a summary of all the fixer sets with the additions and the details. You also got overdue receivables, overdue payables, etc. Now let us look at one more important aspect, which is the ratio analysis. I got the ratio analysis here. So in ratio analysis, I can get yearly. Now the beauty is I can also get quarterly. And I say I can also decide what I want. I say quarterly, now you see all the ratios which are available here, I can get at one shot. Now just see, just looking at this, just by using some field, there's some analysis from Excel, I can see what the pattern, what the trend. There's also one trend analysis we do for this. So you'll be able to get a quick perspective of what's happening, if there are any exceptional transactions, I'll be able to look at this at one shot. Similarly, you've got statistics. So if you look at statistics, I want to find out the relative size factor. So active, so for all the account active data, I can get the relative size factor at one shot. I'll be able to know, okay, what is the difference between the highest value and the average value of the transactions for each of the ledger account, whether the large exception, for example, here you find seven times, I know there's an exceptional transactions. Okay. So in this case, I can see telephone generally the average is about 8,000. Whereas here in this case, there's one highest value of 41,000. 
then I can say go and analyze and check why it happened. It could be possible they paid six months or one year in advance. If that's the case, have they made allocation for the pre prepaid expenses? I can review. Similarly, here I find five lakh eighty thousand rupees is a major transaction. I can check what are the exceptional transactions which happened. So this I can use it for various types of analysis as I want. Okay. Similarly, email IDs if it is there, it will be available. Addresses. So I can get a complete perspective of all the transactions one shot. There's one more thing I want to show you. There is something called repeated transactions. Now, what does it tell me? Simple. I have to do just go click here. Now you see for each of the transactions, it tells me how many times these transactions have been repeated. For example, I know rent has to be paid only 12 times in a year. Salary has to be paid 12 times in a year. Now in this case, because part of the year, we have got part of the transactions. At one glance, I'll be able to get this complete ledger scrutiny at one shot. Now, this is the beauty and the power of the software that you can get extract all the required information in a structured manner and do the analysis and standardize your audit process. This is what I was talking about. The CA firm exports all the registers or reports using the functions reports, ledger scrutiny, exceptions, ratios, latest as fact, repeat transactions. All this can be done in a few clicks. You just saw how much time it takes, but we provide you the data very quickly, but you need to spend time in analyzing the data and coming to the right conclusion and deciding what detailed analysis or verification you have to do. Now let's go to the last case. Now this is a very simple case where I said you can export the registers which I showed you, the sales register, the purchase register and do analysis as required. For example, you're doing a GST audit, you can pick up the transactions from the GST, sales register and the purchase register and do, and do analysis. In this case, I'll not run the reports or let me run one report and show you. Okay, or let me finish the presentation. So the bottom line is you can do more in less time by using TCAT with the power of Excel. And this way you can use for data analytics. So I said the bottom is you can do in a few clicks, get the data and spend more time on analysis. Now let me come to the report. I just want to show you a few more reports so that you can get an idea. Let's say these are the sample reports you generated. Huh, let me show you one report which is important and then I'll take it open for questions. Now just see here, if you want to learn the software, as I said, it doesn't take much time. The most of the functions have been set in such a way that you just select and click. But here we are not applied any audit intelligence. In the near future, we are planning to come with a template with, uh, let's say, call it a TCAT templates where we are going to apply specific business rules. For example, if you're doing, let's say, a GST audit, what are the rules I have to apply for the purchases, for the sales, for the input credit, for the output credit? What are the different types of tests I can perform? We will come out with some standard tests based on uh, our input because I don't have much experience in GST audit. I'm going to interface with various CAs, get their expertise, and based on that, we are going to come with various templates. Similarly, if you're doing a tax audit, what are the, let's say, 10 or 12 key parameters I'd like to verify in tax audit? Because currently what we are doing in, in TCAT is we are just extracting the masters and the transactions and providing this information. We are doing very little analysis except in a two or three functions we are doing some analysis. For example, in TCAT, when you extract ledgers, let's say daybook, hidden very remotely in one small corner is a very powerful function. Maybe in the next webinar, I'm going to cover this in detail, where you can get, like I said, columnar, not only that, you can also get the trend line for that particular function. I'll cover that in the next webinar in detail. Okay, let's come here. This is what we have got. Ah, this is what I just want to show you. This is all the, uh, this is sample report. I, in fact, I in this case, what I did was actually extract all these reports and show you this is sample reports we had. Okay, let's close this. Okay, I don't want to save this file. If I want to save this, just save this file and add your comments and decide what is that you want to verify. This ledger vouchers, which I've already seen. Okay. I say I don't want to save anything here because it's only test file for me. For you, when you're doing the analysis, you have to save and decide where you're going to do. Let's go further. Let, okay, this is too many things open. Yes, uh, this is what I was telling you. Hidden very remotely in this case, you got something called parent and primary group. So for all the transactions you got, now in case if you see tally, this is the powerful function, but it takes a little time. For all the ledger name, you don't know Babu Thomas where to which who's the parent. 
Is it a salary advance? Is it a salary credit? Or is it a salary data? You don't know. So when you're doing a day book analysis, if you're able to get the parent or the primary group to which it belongs, then you find you can do much more meaningful analysis. In that case, what we do, Tally doesn't provide this information, but we have to connect the two data. This one, one is the transaction table and the master table. So when you add here, select here parent and primary group, it adds the parent primary group and it gives you the day book with the parent and the primary group. Let me try that. Sometimes this will take a little time because it has to join two tables and give this information, which means you are do, able to do a detailed analysis. Now here, first we're getting data from Tally, which means we're getting through the XML SOAP request. Next, we do analysis with the master table, which is the ledger table where it has got the ledger name, the parent and the primary group. We connect these two together. And now the beauty of it is I got all this data. Now, if you see, once I get this data, for all the transactions, I know which is the parent and which is the primary name. Just see the importance of this information. Once I got this information for all the transactions which happened, I can just say, I want to know what all the transactions which happened pertaining to, let's say TDS or CGST. Okay, I can just do a quick review and low and presto, I got all the transactions pertaining to CGST. So because with the parent name, I can do the analysis. Okay, like that, we have got two, three cases we are doing a further analysis. Now here, one more important thing I want to show you is the pivot table. Once I've got the day book, now this, the various reports I want to show you, this one company, which we did, uh, this is the NGO, which is doing this. Now, if you see, this is the report which I extracted from TCAT. Let's come to the end. See the number of transactions, 12,564. How much time does it take? It may take two or three minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. Now, based on this, what I did was we did a let's say with the cost center, without the cost center, this without the cost center, then we picked up the pivot table. Now I want to do analysis based on the cost center, based on the donor analysis, we are able to get this information. Just create a pivot table with the data. I extracted only the bank or cash transactions. Here we got all the day book of the capital transactions. This is just to show you how you can extract all the information very quickly using the powerful features of TCAT. Now these are some sample reports we had. I've already shown you most of this. Okay, now you've seen to summarize all the discussion we had so far, what we can do through TCAT is we can extract the master info, the transactions, and also various types of selected reports from Tally. You can get this data into Excel. And once you have the data in a structured manner, you can identify the exceptions and decide what are the areas you're going to audit, which are the areas which require detailed review. Okay, with this, I'll let me close the presentation. Let's see where we are now. So now I'll just give a few minutes for questions. So if you have got any questions, you can email me also. So we also have got videos of the presentations. Uh, this is what is the final message I wanted to convey. Technology is available. What is important is to implement technology you need certain preparation. You need to spend time in changing the way you're doing the audit and get that digital mindset. For auditing digital data, you need to have the digital mindset, which means you need to change perspective from the transaction-oriented approach to a system or a process-oriented approach. You are able to get all the data at one glance, but can you get an overview? And that's where I always use the analogy of the ant on the, on the carpet. Now, if you look at the ant which is walking on a beautiful carpet, now do you think the ant can look at the decipher the overall design? It's going to be very difficult. Whereas, let's say the same fly is flying on the carpet, probably depending on what height it's flying, it can get an overall perspective what is happening as far as the design is concerned. Similarly, the data.